You have turned into a very beautiful, wise, and fertile government employee. Stop. It's kind of weird when she just starts raining compliments on you, huh? Don't try to bond with me. Can't win. This is gonna take forever. It's just us, I hope. I wish. Hey, guys. Ready to do some fact checking? Oh. Here we go. Helping Leslie. Okie doke. Anyone find any mistakes? Yeah, actually. In here it says the Pawnee is great, but in reality it's terrible. Let Tom know we haven't found anything. Hey, I'm thinking about getting a new phone. Do you guys like your phones? I've never used a phone in my life. What about you, Ron? Do you like your phone? Hmm. Here's my goal. I'm gonna get these two people that I've known for a long time to talk to me for five minutes. Who am I kidding? One minute. One minute would be amazing. All right, so we don't have to fact check anymore, but Leslie wants us to be on ready alert one just in case something comes up. Now I can get some real work done. You know, I think I'm just gonna hang out here with you guys if that's cool. It's not. Great. I could leave, I could. But I'm not going to. I will get my one minute of small talk, damn it. And it will be casual, and it will be amicable. Well, I've made a little progress. I'm up to four seconds with April. Hey, April. I was looking to get some new music, and I was wondering if you could recommend anything. The internet. I really like your haircut. Where'd, where'd you get it? Prison. How's your sister doing? She has the shingles. Who's your favorite character on Sex and the City? Alf. And nine seconds with Ron. You're stranded on a desert island. What is the one thing that you bring with you? Silence. I have to tell you a secret, but if you tell anyone, I will kill you slowly with a giant syringe. Good morning, April. What's your secret? I'm thinking about applying to veterinary school in Bloomington. <gasps> oh my God, April, that's great. Whoa, where'd you get that? The internet. So I really need a letter of recommendation, and since you work in a hospital as a janitor... Nurse. I was wondering if maybe you would write one for me? Really? Generally, between us, April always has the upper hand, and that hand is usually giving me the finger or pouring honey in my purse. But now I have the upper hand, and I'm going to use it to crush her into being nice to me. I would be happy to write you that letter. I actually know the guy who runs the veterinary program over there. Because you hooked up with him? I don't hook up with everyone I know. Although, yes, we did hook up. But before I write you that letter, you have to spend the next week with me and do everything I say. So I have to be your slave or something? No, you have to be my friend. No, that is so much worse. Don't do that. I guess it would have to be Channing Tatum's body, Ryan Gosling's face, and Michael Fassbender's sense of humor. What about you? Build your perfect guy. Um, Yao Ming's torso, Napoleon's brain, and the hunchback of Notre Dame's hunchback. Do you like my nails? Even though she hides it underneath layers of sarcasm, resentment, and grumpiness, I know deep down somewhere, April likes me. I'm kind of just fracking for friendship. Are you ready? For you to tell me what's going on with Chris? Yes. No, to sing. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time, go. No, tell me about Chris. If you fall, I will catch you, I'll be waiting. Tell me about Chris or I'm leaving and I don't care about the letter. I want to have a baby and I asked Chris to donate his sperm and he's taking a really long time to make up his mind and it's really freaking me out. And I can't stop thinking about it and I'm obsessing about it and I want to think about anything else but that, but it's making me crazy. Secrets stolen from deep inside. You know the song already? Of course I do. Everyone knows the song. It's amazing. The drum beats out of time. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. Time after time. Time after time. Time after time. Good stuff. It's never happened. Here is your letter of recommendation. So you're off the hook. 
no need to pretend to be my friend anymore. Thank God. I can't tell if you actually hate me or if this is just how you are, but I had fun hanging out with you. So I don't care what you say, you're my friend. And I hope you get into veterinary school because I like you, so there. I got you something too. Baby naming book. I hope it works out with Chris. And if it doesn't, I hope it works out with someone. We're gonna hug now. No. Yeah. Ow, you're hurting me. Yippee, road trip. Who's excited to go to Bloomington? Is that where you're gonna sit? I'm driving, where else would I sit? Trunk. I helped April get into vet school in Bloomington and today's her orientation, so we're taking a little road trip. While I'm there, I'm also gonna pick up an organic baby blanket. I would get one in Pawnee, but fun fact, our only baby store is attached to a chemical refinery. I made a special road trip mix CD for us. I hope you like Tori Amos. Oh, cool. All right, so you have everything you need for orientation? Yeah, an empty Sprite can, an old man's fingernail in my pocket, and a picture of Patrick Ewing on a roller coaster. I'm all set. Great. Hi, my friend here is enrolling in the vet school next month and she would like to be shown around. Totally, happy to. I'm Laura. I'm April Ludgate Kevorkian. So you go with Laura, who seems really nice and does not deserve to be tortured, and I will come meet up with you after I finish the baby store. Sure you want to leave me here with her? What if I'm a murderer? <laughs> it's funny. I only agreed to come back here because of our deal. Do you promise to play along? Yes. Do you? Yes. Hi, you're back. Hello again. As you remember, I'm April, and this is Anne, my 65-year-old grandmother. Yes, that's who I am. Anyway, we'd love to hear about Bloomington. It seems like a real hip kind of college town. Me, Ma? God, no one uses the word hip anymore. Sometimes I wish you went down on the Titanic with all your sorority sisters. I would be happy to show you guys around the campus. Is there anything in particular that you want to see? How are your local graveyards? I have some planning. The Bee Line is a cool outdoor trail that cuts right through downtown. She said the Bee Line is cool, Mima. Cool means good. Thank you, Laura, for showing us around. Sure. See you in a couple weeks, April. See? This place is great. Aren't you glad we came back and talked to her? No. It was pointless. I'm not going to school here. April, don't flake out on this. You're going to love it here. Bloomington is great. It's got culture and music and tons of youngsters. Youngsters? Am I 65 years old? Yeah, I'm not going here. I don't want to. Let's leave. <sighs> Can we please talk about what happened back there? What, Anne? I just stole your phone and texted every guy in it that the baby was theirs. It's not that big of a deal. Listen, I know you don't believe this, but I care about your future. And I'm just a little disappointed that you're just not following through with this. Yeah, it's not about following through. Okay, I was on the fence about whether I wanted to do it, and as soon as I got there, I just had a gut feeling that it wasn't right for me, that's all. So just like that, boom, huge life decision made? That's how I make all my life decisions. My gut is always right, okay? It was right about marrying Andy, and it was right when it told me that you would be the worst person I would ever meet in my life. And I've met Guy Fieri, and it's so gross. How do you get your gut to talk to you? You don't get your gut to talk to you, you just listen when it says something. Well, right now my gut is saying that we are going to listen to Mariah Carey the whole way home. Good. Honey raccoons, that is one thing I will not miss. Well, Michigan has wolverines. Maybe they'll eat your toes. So, how long do you think you'll stay in Pawnee for? I don't know. We like it here. I made Andy promise that someday we'll move to Transylvania, but that probably won't happen until we're like 100. Well, for what it's worth, I'm really happy that you and Andy are married. Why? Why? Because I love him and I love you. Why wouldn't I be happy? I love you too. What's that? I love you too. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't quite hear you. Please don't make me say it, please. My going away present to you will be that I do not make you audibly say that you love me. Thank you. Okay, Leslie's coming back. Get off me, wench. Did I miss a nice moment? No. Yes, you did. Oh, good. 